Factory radios, man, do they ever just get boring? Or do they ever just stop working out on you? you do nothing no more? And you want to upgrade to something a little bit nicer, but you don't want to kill your pockets and cough up the extra money to buy an aftermarket radio. Today, I'm going to show you top car stereos that you can buy from Walmart if you're on a budget. I'm going to show you single din, double din radios, and Bluetooth radios, and show you how cheap they can actually get here at Walmart and still do their job. So let's walk inside and let's show you what Walmart got with car stereos. Walmart is right around the corner. I'll definitely stop in there, get yourself a radio. It's gonna be worth it. All right, so we actually got here to the stereo section and there's a quite a big selection here at this Walmart. I'm actually pretty impressed, man. You got Sony, you got Boss, you got Kenwood, you got Dual. We got Pioneer, more Pioneer, another duel. part nowadays everybody uses the, the double dins um, that's the most common radio size that there is it's pretty much just standard on any vehicle um, you know the double din is just a bigger radio uh, if you just want to keep it basic you can just get the single din which is just the regular size and usually when you get the dash kit for it it has that extra pocket right here along the bottom with it uh, and it'll just fill up that gap whenever you take out your factory radio now keep in mind Anything that has a factory radio, you can swap it out as long as you have the proper dash kit and the proper harness. You may save yourself a few dollars buying a more budget friendly car stereo, but when you start getting into the newer cars, you're gonna have to get these interfaces. If you have steering wheel controls, you're gonna need to get the module for that as well. And if you have a built-in AC control in your dashboard, you're gonna have to get the, the dash kit that it calls for to make the radio have its dent opening or double dent opening um, so the radio will fit and all your AC controls will still be there. But for the majority part, if it's just basic cars, anything that's like a GM or a first line Dodge or Ford, man, you're gonna find it always in stock. And look, even right here, the antenna adapter, it has all the, the universal ones. So pretty much it'll all work, but some of these newer ones are run by fiber optics. So um, it's gonna call for you to order it offline or buy it at your local um, car audio store. Prices and brands vary from right here from what I'm actually looking at. Um, you go from entry level dual, you know, which is, I guess, an all right brand. Then you got your paracoustic, then you can move up to your Pioneer. Uh, and then make your way up to the Sony, to the Sony right here. If you're trying to stay within budget, you know, pretty much any of these radios will work for you. Um, just to, you know, swap out that old boring factory radio. I know newer cars actually have some with like CarPlay and navigation, but if you got an older style model, uh, you know, one of these guys right here will definitely do the job. The most budget friendly single den is 24 bucks right here, $24. It's a Bluetooth radio, I think what it is. It's a digital. I may have a USB or headphone jack so you can connect your phone or your iPod or if you still have one of those guys. Um, most budget friendly radio. It's not that wide because it don't have that CD uh, player in it. 24 bucks, you can't beat it, man. This is actually a pretty good price for if you just kind of swap something out fast. Then if you actually have a bigger opening uh, right here, this is a double din style one, um, but it's still Bluetooth radio. It's not that deep. Uh, it's just going to fill in that hole uh, completely and it'll still be a good, a good, pretty much good radio. And for $39, you can't beat it. Now, if you want to step it up and get a nicer single din radio, uh, the Sony Bluetooth radio as well too. Look, it's rather thin as well too. No uh, CD disc in it. Um, I'm pretty sure this one has some pretty badass features on it. You can probably change the color and has a lot better output than what that dual would actually do. Um, so right here it says max power 55 times 4 extra bass 
iPod and USB, um, Sirius satellite radio, Bluetooth, all that stuff. $79, man, ready to rock and roll. Good price for that Sony radio. If you want to step it up a little bit and get a nicer brand, man, you got the Kenwood. Uh, this is the dual connection, so you can probably connect your phone. Uh, more better EQ, Android Rapid, and in remote app, it looks like you can probably control the radio off your phone. Bluetooth is most common on all the radios now, so uh, this radio right here, you're just trying to swap it out, something quick, and like I said, you'd have to get the dash kit that has the pocket on it. But now from the price from $79 and $24, now we're in the $104, but you're paying for a better brand and the CD player and a lot more better features. And I guarantee you this CD player singled in would actually be more louder than all the other ones right there. But if you want to step it down a notch, you know, Pioneer has this one right here. That's a Bluetooth radio uh, only, um, has USB and an auxiliary phone jack or a headphone jack in it. Uh, this one's actually $77. Um, it has outs probably for, you know, subwoofer. You want to connect some bass to it. I'm pretty sure they all do. But Pioneer, man, for a sound system, I always felt like Pioneer is always really good for sound systems. Um, Bluetooth radio, like I said, $77.97. Uh, if you want to get one with a CD disc, CD disc on it, um, $89 will get you the one that actually has a CD disc in it. Uh, it does have Bluetooth as well, the USB, the headphone jack, and a lot more better features. And it looks like you can't control it from your phone as well, too. Uh, this one would actually work, you know, a little bit more better than that guy. But if you want to go ahead and talk about Pioneer versus Kenwood, uh, I'm going to always try to go with the Kenwood because the Kenwood's always going to have a lot better sound quality. What type of guy are you, a Kenwood guy or a Pioneer guy? You know, me, like I just said, I'm a Kenwood type of guy, so I'm always going to go with Kenwood. Um, if I had the option to put a radio in my truck, man, I would do a Kenwood double den in it or that big ass Kenwood uh, radio that they got. You can actually step it up and they have this one right here. That's a 10 inch touchscreen uh, media receiver. Uh, as you can see, this one has like the Apple CarPlay. Um, this is probably more touchscreen um, and more of a, you know, modern style radio. Uh, it'll probably be a little bit more bulkier in your dash and it'll probably take a little bit more to install versus just your regular single din radios but this one would be pretty badass and this one right here will cost you 249 um, but i think it's pretty worth it and you see right here that's what it would look like um, and the face is adjustable and all that stuff now this one right here is almost the same thing but just probably just um, sits in place you see what i'm saying uh, this one looks pretty good i would do this one as well um, this one looks more like iPad, you know, Apple style, um, you know, CarPlay type of radio, uh, but no CD, it's all Bluetooth, you know, or USB, uh, and it's a Boss. This one right here costs you $249, so, um, you know, you get what you pay for, but obviously it will do the trick, uh, but if you want to buy the better one, the Dual for $249, it probably has a lot more better features, and it just fills in that gap like crazy. My all-time favorite are the Double Dins, guys, and from here we have a big selection of Double Dins that you can actually pick from, from the Dual uh, to the Pioneers and the Sony, but before we get into that, let's talk about this flip-out. I ain't seen flip-outs in a long-ass time. Look at this guy. This is right here, if you do not have the double din opening size um, and you got a single din, but you wanna have a screen, this is the one because this one actually motorizes out and then up and obviously it's touch screen. So this one right here is badass. Uh, man, I, I used to love touch uh, screen uh, flip outs, man. This one obviously is Bluetooth, has a CD input in it, uh, 200 watts, uh, USB as well. Um, you can control it with your phone and this is a seven inch screen right here, man But this I like this style radio right here, man. I've flip outs always been my favorite. This is like true old school boss this one will run you Let's see 199 for the double din and it looks like it's Apple CarPlay ready uh, Bluetooth as well, too. And you know when it's Apple car ready, you know, you pretty much just got like navigation Pretty much if you have like an iPhone your iPhone would just convert right into the radio screen um, And it'll just be like if you're just on your phone uh, and then you can download apps I don't know you probably do have to buy like a type of cord or interface to make like Netflix or YouTube work But I'm pretty sure it's possible. I know on some of the other brands uh, you can download Netflix or um youtube on it and watch it but you know this price for this um it's pretty good i'll say that but for this price right here you can probably buy a nicer brand one you know a nicer brand doubled in but this one would get the job done it probably has a lot more features 
but not better high quality. Got this boss one right here. It is a CD loader and it has USB, uh, regular radio. Uh, I don't know if this one has Apple CarPlay. I don't think so. Um, it does have the Bluetooth that comes with the remote. Um, and like I said, it just fills in that extra gap. And if you're just trying to find something just to replace your factory radio and still sound good, uh, this boss right here for $119 is definitely not a bad choice. This one will actually get the job done and you'll be happy with it. Now, if you want to swap it over to the Pioneer, uh, you know, you have a different, you know, amount of selections. You got this guy, uh, just regular Bluetooth radio, one with the CD input, uh, another Bluetooth uh, radio, but just with a bigger screen. And this one right here is pretty much the same thing, but this one probably just has less features on it versus this guy. Sometimes the double dens, they actually get kind of wide and kind of deep. So sometimes you do gotta like cut or modify the back of your, um, whenever you take your trim bezel off, your dash bezel, um, the, depending the size that's back there of the radio or how much space, you probably sometimes gotta cut brackets in order for the big fatter double dent to slide inside there. Uh, but obviously the one that are Bluetooth are gonna be a lot shallower and those will just fit like a glove versus if you do the Bluetooth one with the CD in it, it's gonna be a lot deeper. You're gonna have to like do modifications in order to get that guy to fit, but it's definitely gonna be a lot better. Uh, for choices whether if you want to do CD if you have some or you know Bluetooth or whatever and these are pretty much like same you know specifications and size but you see now this one right here it is a bigger screen and this one is a lot bigger screen as well too but the difference between pricing and this one that's 259 194 is this one comes with Apple CarPlay uh, it does have the Bluetooth uh, and it does control it with your cell phone and probably you can change the different colors and all that stuff. Um, it does have front, rear and sub output versus the cheaper guy with the same size screen, but with less uh, outputs for your sound system and no Apple CarPlay, but still Bluetooth. Uh, 194 and this guy right here would actually do the job done as well too this actually does not have a cd this actually does not have a cd player in it nor does this one it's just mainly bluetooth or apple carplay now we can't forget about the power acoustic right here man this actually is a little dvd player uh you can see it right there here are the options digital playback you can watch videos on it dvd player bluetooth USB backup camera ready, which probably all these are backup camera ready as well, guys. And probably some of them do play video, but you gotta get um, the the you know override to get it play. But man, definitely do not watch video while you're driving. For forty nine dollars, man, you can't go wrong. Get a little DVD player, uh, have your kids watch it while you're driving, not yourself. Uh, the outputs are probably all right; they're not the greatest. But just like I said, if you're just here to replace a radio, man, this is definitely the one. We have a smaller screen Sony radio for 198. Um, it just has like mirror from your phone to the radio. So whatever's playing on your phone will play on your radio. Um, you see this one, you can do YouTube, which is really badass and watch the mousetrap videos. Uh, and you know, it does have Bluetooth. You can answer your phone calls, make phone calls out of it. Uh, no CD player, just Bluetooth, USB. The screen is a little bit smaller because it has these controls right here on the side, but man, the quality of the radio, just because it's a Sony and the color of it would probably look really, really badass. Man, this is a really nice go-to radio, but it's 198 guys, 198, but you're paying for better quality. The last bad boy that we're gonna talk about is this Sony radio right here. You see the model number. Um, $250, man, it has the three outputs, extra bass, Apple CarPlay, uh, Bluetooth, Android Auto, and just look at it, man. It's gonna definitely do its job. For 250 bucks, man, you're gonna get the most out of this radio. It has a lot bigger screen and the controls along the bottom. Uh, I think this is probably the best radio out of this whole section right here. Um, but, you know, sometimes people prefer the Pioneer brand, but right now for the money and everything, the Sony is the winner. Which one of these would you guys pick in your ride right here? Like this ain't even related to the radios, but damn, look, they got, uh, what's this? Boost the bass, sound stream. They got sound stream at Walmart. That's crazy. This is probably like a epicenter. That's wild. I can't believe they got epicenters at Walmart. Man, this thing is badass. It just looks really cool, man. I'm almost even tempted to buy it myself.
That's wild. Man, I would do so much with this guy. Soundstream, and Soundstream is actually a pretty good brand. Dang, that's crazy. I'm actually pretty, pretty impressed. I did not think Walmart would actually have this. All right, we talked about the radios, man. They all look pretty good, and I guarantee you, I've put a lot of these radios in, so I really don't know which ones you want to pick to buy, but, you know, I think all of them would actually do good for anything you actually want to do. Hope this video actually helps you guys out a little bit. Know exactly pricing for a radio if you want to upgrade it in your vehicle or if you have a golf cart. Um, any type of type of vehicle you want to actually put an aftermarket radio or even if you're building a power wheels for your kid or something uh, here's quick ideas of some few radios that will actually get the job done and that are budget friendly uh, real quick don't forget if you actually like to watch car audio builds from start to finish uh, like to see crazy bass demos definitely subscribe to the channel man because this channel right here man we do a lot of do it yourself at the convenience of your house car audio builds and with my videos and with my knowledge and your knowledge put together uh, you can get it done on your own and not have to worry about going to any shops and saving a few extra bucks to get in that crazy loud sound system that you've always wanted to get with that being said your boy's gonna start doing his walmart shopping i gotta make it look like i'm shopping instead of just roaming around and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and definitely like the video as well too and i will catch you guys on the next one